Welcome to the video. We've looked at a lot of different flight controllers on the channel, but one that we haven't looked at before is the NASA series of technology. Now, there are a lot of people out there that are struggling with the NASA, particularly trying to get it to talk to Windows 8 and Windows 10 computers. And this video has been put together by one of the Painless 360 community, a gentleman called Liam. So Liam's going to take us through how you make this all work so that if you get stuck, you know what to do. So a very big thank you to Liam for taking the time to put this video together to help the community and I'll hand over to him to show us what to do. In this video I'm going to show you how to get your Windows 10 computer talking with your DJ NASA Lite software. A lot of people are finding with in fact multiple different DJ NASA products and also some Windows 8, but mostly Windows 10 computers. And when they go ahead and plug it in for the first time, it isn't being recognized by the NASA M Lite Assistant software. I'll show you what happened with mine when I plugged it in for the first time. I went ahead and opened up the Assistant software. I got the loading screen and it sat here and didn't do anything further. So what I'm going to do is I have a NASA here. I will plug that in here to show you. And you'll wait a few seconds and you'll see the LED indicator will almost turn off. It will go to a very, very dull green. And the NASA Flight Assistant software will not progress any further or recognize the device. Now, what I found here was if you went into Device Manager and viewed COM devices. You may see a few different COM devices here depending on what's plugged into your computer. However, the key point here is if I go ahead and unplug the NASA, we should hopefully see one of those three devices that I had disappear. In this case, COM3. And just to confirm that, I'll go ahead and plug the device or the NASA back in. And sure enough, we see the, the COM3 device come back. So we know that it's being recognized by the computer, however it's just not finding the correct driver. To get the NASA assistant showing up on your computer and the computer installing the correct drivers, we have to go and do this manually. To do this we have to reboot the computer into a state where it will allow you to install drivers it believes not to be signed. I'll go ahead and fire up a virtual computer here so I can show you how to install this software and get yourself into the non-driver signing mode needed to install the drivers. To reboot your computer into the mode where it doesn't require driver signatures to be verified, what we have to do is click on the right click on the start icon here, go ahead to the restart option but on your keyboard, press and hold the shift key whilst pressing a restart and keep holding the shift key. What we'll see here is the computer go ahead and restart and then you'll get a few more options on boot. Now, if we go ahead and click into troubleshoot and then into advanced options and then into startup settings, what we'll see here is restart to change windows options such as and we'll see the key point here is disable driver signature enforcement so go ahead and click restart and we'll have the computer restart once again and it'll ask you to select one of the function keys or the f keys to progress into the mode which you require so in this instance we see here the uh, seven disable driver signature enforcement is the option we need so i'll go ahead and press f7 your computer will once again seem to restart and your computer will now be booted into the mode where we can install drivers which the operating system doesn't appear to see as having a valid signature. What we'll go ahead and do is open up our device manager. We should still find in here the COM port mentioned earlier. Just to go ahead and confirm, I'll disconnect the NASA device and we'll see one of the COM ports disappear. In this case again was COM3 which I'll go ahead and plug back in now. And sure enough, COM3 has reappeared, so we know that is our NASA. If you go ahead and right-click this device, and then go ahead and select Update Driver Software, we're presented with two options. We'll go for the bottom one of Browse My Computer for Driver Software, and then it'll automatically try and find the drivers for you. However, if this won't happen. You need to go and tell it specifically where to look. So go ahead and bottom option here, let me pick a list of drivers on my computer. At this screen, we'll be presented with a have disk option. If you go ahead and select this, we will then be able to go and select device drivers. Now, this is currently assuming you have already gone onto the DJI website and downloaded the drivers package. 
which installs it into the default location. You haven't changed the location in which it tries to install it. So if we go ahead and go into the C drive of the PC and then to program files x86, within here you should see the DJI product folder and then within that a DJI driver folder. Go ahead into the DJI driver folder, you'll then have the three further folders. We need to select the source 64 one. In here we'll find an INF file. Now this is the driver instruction file that uh, we need to point the PC towards for our comm device. So if we go ahead and select that and click open and then click OK. We'll see the options of the models to select of the DJI USB Virtual Com. Go ahead and select this and click next and it will then go ahead and install the device software. You may be presented with the option, which I have, which again, it's saying can't verify the publisher of this device. We don't believe it's been signed. However, we know this is the DJI drivers. We know it's safe. So go ahead and click install this driver software anyway. And if we wait a few seconds whilst it goes ahead and installs those drivers, you can see it successfully updated the drivers. Now at this stage, if you get any errors, any issue saying it was unable to install the device driver software, anything else popping up, Either you haven't put it into the correct boot mode of disabling the requirement for signed drivers, and sure enough, we can see COM3 now is showing as the DJI USB Virtual COM port. So if we go ahead and open up the DJI Assistant software, we should hopefully see it automatically go into the configuration screen with a green light at the bottom left-hand corner indicating a connection to the DJI controller. Hopefully that should be everything. You should then be able to go ahead and restart your computer. The drivers are now installed and it will recognize it every time you go ahead and plug in. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and happy flying.